um, video cam, this is one of the craziest calls I've ever done. I went out to basically buy a couple of stuff and stuff and then went to vintage car, vintage socks, real leather sets. Um, these are all like vintage GI Joe Japanese things. Um, basically, was, I was supposed to go up there for like $70 for a Lego, basically like this, and like something like a couple of, like four total of Legos. And then I wound up with this in another collection. Um, I'd be more of in a positive mood and more happy, but it was kind of on a bad note. Um, kind of, it's really cool the Navy veteran guy, his brother died, uh, he was 37 years old and he just was overwhelmed with stuff and he didn't want it. So I go through the entire collection, but this is what I got. Oh, don't mind this. This is trash. Um, all of these stuff could be in my video. I got that one for you, so if you pay for it, you can all of All of this stuff. And we're back, everybody. So, as prefaced in the intro, this was one of the most insane hauls that I've ever found. Um, it was a pretty sad note, like I said. Um, I couldn't really display my emotions while I was there. I was overwhelmed. Um, but he was telling me the story about how his 37-year-old brother had liver cancer, and I was just listening to his story and stuff. And he's 39. He's a Navy veteran. He works in submarines, and his brother had died. I'm guessing he was a Virginia Tech Hokey. I guess he went to the school there. He was obviously a tech nerd. Um, I got a bunch of computer stuff and a lot of video game stuff. So this is the first part of the haul. Um, the day is kind of escaping and getting away from us a little bit. I'm gonna kind of run through this. There's a lot. Um, this is probably gonna be like a four or five part video. This is primarily the stuff that I just grabbed from the back. Um, and this is mostly, um, so there, there's Legos, there's GI Joes, there's Transformers, there's Power Rangers, there's everything in here. There's action figures, all sorts of stuff, Toy Biz, Marvel Legends. This stuff is primarily going to be the action figure stuff. So we're just going to kind of just jump right into this. Um, thank you all for tuning in. My name's Aaron, and uh, I'm just super excited to do all this. Um, there's some stuff I've never even seen in here before. Thank you all for watching. If you can, please leave me a positive comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd really like more of this kind of content. Um, leave me a kind message or maybe your opinion, what your favorite item is from my video. Um, I thank you all for your previous comments and for all our new subscribers out there. I'm trying to build a positive community um, of nostalgia and memories and happiness and stuff. And you'll see it on my face when I pull some cool stuff out. Kind of like this right here. This is a Transformers uh, More Than Meets the Eye 1984 collector's case from Tara Toy Corporation, Hasbro Industries. It has the handle on it. It opens up. It's still complete. There's no Transformers in here. But as I found in the bottom of this box, this is what I was kind of curious about. I was driving and I was just kind of curious because um, I didn't expect to go pick up a trailer. I hooked up a U-Haul, a uh, six foot by 12 foot U-Haul and filled about, and there goes that. Filled about half of it up. So we're gonna get these boxes out of the way. We're gonna go through here. Um, this box is Tom's Transformers. It's a Nike box. And these are all vintage 1984, 1987 Transformers. We have, I think his name is Sludge. This is the uh, 19, I'm not gonna look at all the dates because there's not a lot of time, but 1984, we have uh, Transformers diecast space shuttle, turns into a train. He's, I think, a Decepticon. And my riot baton just fell over. Um, I don't know what this is, but it says turbo on it and it takes batteries. I'm guessing it's a remote control transformer. Yeah, it stands up. This is really cool. No batteries on it, but it definitely stands up and transforms. Um, there's parts and pieces like this right here. It looks like the little thing is missing, but this is actually a vintage Optimus Prime uh, Mack truck. We have some of those McDonald's like uh, quarter pounder and then another quarter pounder transformer, McDonald's uh, soda. We have McDonald's these uh, fries. Um, this looks like a shark. I'm just gonna blow through this. This might be hot rod. This is super cool. I was playing with this the other day. 
um, and it, I pushed the button and the little rockets flip forward, so it's gonna be hard to see. Um, I probably shouldn't be doing this at nighttime. If it gets too dark, I will stop the video and I will jump inside. Um, this is pretty cool. I mean, all this stuff is really neat. This is like a dino bot. This looks like a, kind of looks like actually like a Gigan, uh, the, the villain from um, Godzilla. This is a RC, I think. This is like a, a motorcycle with rockets. It looks like RC. We have a shark without his arms. It's a pretty cool shark. There's like a falcon here, a uh, Decepticon looking falcon or eagle. Uh, this one looks like it's a one of those. It's got a, it looks like a Batmobile Corvette. It's pretty cool. It's got a motor on the bottom of it. Um, we have some guns. We have a drill. Here's a Deceptic. Uh, I don't know who this is. Decepticon helicopter. Pretty freaking cool. I don't know if all the parts and pieces are here. Um, I'm guessing. I just saw this at the store. I'm guessing this is. Uh, it's not Cup. Who is it? Um, I don't know who this is. I just saw this at the store. I swear I saw that same kind of vehicle. Um, this looks like Megatron, maybe? It's a huge pickup truck, like Optimus Prime. It's a massive pickup truck, or a tractor trailer. I think we have Ravage. This is, a, this is okay, this is a, the cassette player. This is an Autobot. And I think this is, this is the little, like, lion. I don't know if, I, don't, I thought that one of those comes out of uh, Soundwave's chest. We have a really cool plane here. Autobot, he's a plane. I don't know their, all their names. They've obviously changed over time. This is a pterodactyl. Looks like score. Uh, uh, I don't know his name. Um, this is a two-headed uh, dragon. Uh, this is a bulldozer. I mean, I'm just kind of flying through these because we have a lot here. This is an A10. That's freaking awesome. Um, this kind of looks like the bulldozer or the uh, steam, the steamroller or the sorry cement mixer. This is a Jeep Decepticon. These are freaking awesome. These are so cool. That looks like the head to Optimus. That looks like it goes on. The truck <laughs> so i don't know how that works but it looks like it might go on the back of here and it pops up there so that's really cool optimus is a little tiny corvette here we have another little plane we have another cassette tape i forgot who that is and then we have a transformer looking like a micro machine or something and then another another autobot little tape deck here so that's one box out of all these we're gonna rush through this um i got a lot to go through and i don't want to make all these 40 minute videos but I basically, this whole lot, now I have military toys. I think they're called like click and play. There's other things in there called like world peacekeepers, tons of military stuff. A floor to ceiling Lego collection, like four foot by four foot by like eight foot tall closet full of Lego totes. Star Wars, like everything, you name it from all the sorts of vintage vehicles and everything. I paid $500 for the entire room full of toys. That was including the Legos, including whatever uh, G.I. Joe's, whatever vehicles, Transformers, Trailer Ranger, whatever was in there. And then when I went downstairs, I paid another $120 for like Bluetooth speaker, a liquid cooled computer. I got Darth Maul's lightsaber. I got a Riot Baton Black Series. I got a paintball gun set. I got a whole stack of collector's magazines, like Star Wars magazine and stuff. I got a bunch of stuff, kitchenware, spice rack, like tumblers, cups. So that was like an extra, that'll be in this. I got a walking stick. I was going to pick up a bow. But overall, I spent $620. This is the first part of that video, and this is actually worth like 40 bucks right here. So just think about that. If every one of these is worth 30 to 40 bucks, this box might as well just pay for everything. Um, I got to figure out if the pieces are complete. I obviously have to research them, figure out what their names are, what their uh, faction of Transformers is. Um, so that's one thing in the box. I also saw this. I didn't know what this was, but I played with it, and then the head popped off. Um, I, where is it? Yeah, it pops off. It's like a little spaceship. It kind of looks like alienish. There was no company name or date on it, but it's a super cool robot and I love it. Um, it's got like missile pods there and this is like a little uh, escape pod. So I, yeah, that's what happened when I was driving. So that's really cool. I love this. We're gonna throw everything on the floor as I usually do, um, just cause it's gonna get out of hand on this table pretty quickly. Um, I'm outside. I was trying to do a video outside. It's getting dark quick. Um, this is just a small box of Lego or of uh, Transformers. 1985 Milton Bradley. It looks like a door knocker. It looks like you hang it on the door or the wall. It's like a door knocker. It's really cool. Um, here we have, this is even older. Wow, how old are these? Um, 1987, I don't know what this is, but these are cool. That's the cement mixer. This looks like Starscream, honestly. This is like, a, maybe it's the Pretender Starscream. This is like the, uh, F, the F-16. Another little cassette tape. I love these. Uh, here's the cement mixer again. Here's a dump truck, Decepticon. Here's a, a bulldozer. Uh, I don't know what this is. Decepticon, little McDonald's burger. We have the letter U. I don't even know, it's a transformer letter. Um, looks like we have a motorcycle or, oh, a scooter. We have a scooter. 
Anybody knows anything about these, please hit me up. I mean, I always do my research. We have an excavator. So I'm guessing all the Decepticons are pink and purple, or purple and yellow. We have a crane, and then we have, it looks like a missile pod's the one of these somehow. But that was only, that was only, that was that one box. Um, some of these boxes aren't completely full to the brim. Um, this is, the, this is another box. Okay, so I meant to put this back, but I'll just do it right now. This is that click and play stuff. Um, this is actually, it looks like a bunker with like a guard tower, like machine gun nest, sandbags and stuff. But check this out, click and play. It says military defense unit. So it's probably like, you know, like it's not a checkpoint, uh, but it's like set up for like a defensive position. So really cool. It's just collect them all. They're obviously made in China. I, they're all sealed in the box. I have no idea. It says limited. I don't know. It says limited. It's 2019. So I have no idea, but I've seen this stuff go online. And I mean, I have all sealed in the box stuff. This guy right here, uh, this is, uh, is this World Peacekeepers? I don't know what this is, but um, a lot of this stuff I'm not gonna be familiar with. And like this right here, I don't know what this is. It's sealed in the box, I have no idea, but I'm not opening it right now. Another World Peacekeeper military thing. We have another military peacekeeper thing. This looks like a, like a squad vehicle, like kind of like a Jeep fast attack vehicle, FAV. So that's really cool. Um, and we have another one of those. So it seems like he bought like two of everything. It's what his brother told me. He brought like two of everything and he would like open up like one of them and display the other one. And he also said like even the stuff that's like opened and he like took really good care of it. So everything's pretty much like like new open box. Um, we're gonna get into this box up here. There's only a couple bigger things in here. I'm trying to make this video quick. So this is a opened uh, 2021 Cobra Hiss GI Joe vehicle. And I found it, it is in here, and that is super cool. Uh, G.I. Joe Cobra Hiss, this is a modern one. This came out obviously like last year. Um, I'm hoping to find this. This is a uh, premier edition Barricade, which is that Mustang that was in the, um, I don't remember what movie it was, but this is Barricade, the police car. And then we have some more of those, uh, these are those click and play things. Here's a helicopter, like a little bird helicopter with a bunch of parts and pieces as a motorcycle and a figure. And then we have like a surface to air missile vehicle. That's amazing. I mean, these click and play things are cool. And look at, I mean, everything this guy had was absolutely incredible. It's beautiful condition. Um, he even has the weapon and the soldier inside the, the front uh, vehicle cockpit. And uh, I don't want to ruin this, but okay, there we go. So it's a surface to, air, a surface to air missile thing. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I like the GI Joe thing. The vehicle is pretty awesome. And I'm glad that it's in here. I mean, it's in superb condition. I love this stuff. Um, I just wish I had a big enough display. I, I have to get more shelves and racks and stuff, but this is absolutely incredible. Um, like I said, I didn't get to look at everything that I was purchasing, but in some of these boxes, it's gonna be absolutely insane. Like, I don't even know if that barricade's in here, if it's out somewhere. Um, we're just gonna kind of rushing through this. This is another, wow, wow, okay. So this is obviously, what years are these from? They're obviously not old. Um, I don't even know what they're from. Hasbro, <clears throat> 2021, okay, so that's Lonzo Stalker Wilkinson. We have Cobra Commander. Uh, looks like he bought all these on Amazon. This one is Snake Eyes. Um, and then look at this, this is, this is the uh, Fang, the Cobra Copter, the Fang. And here's the box for it. We have another Cobra Hiss, but this one looks like it's different. This one's from 2004. This is like, that's cool, it's a little bit older. And then we have all the bases for all these guys. Look, we have another fast attack vehicle. That's probably not G.I. Joe, that's, uh, no, it is, 1985 Hasbro. This is a Bradley, okay, uh, Milton Bradley Inc, I guess. This is actually, this is actually G.I. Joe. That's the fast attack vehicle. Uh, so, I mean, these are cool. The bases and the weapons are in the bags. It looks like he went through all this stuff. Like, this is Duke. He sorted through it and just absolutely meticulous and very well taken care of uh, collection. Um, some of these are newer. There's a lot of stuff that's older. Trust me, like this, it throws me back, um, way back actually. Uh, stuff that I used to play with, like this box right here. I wish I had these toys as a kid. This looks like, I'm guessing this is the stand. It's got wheels on it. This is the stand for the Megazord, I think. And I think it's for him. Check this out, you guys are gonna freak. Look at that. I don't know, is his head on backwards? So I don't know, it looks like it lights up, but these are all different pieces. Like these come apart. Like it doesn't, like, it doesn't make sense. There's a hand here and then there's a hand here and there's like hands under here. And like, it looks like you can flip them around because then this side looks like the front of the Megazord too. 
But this has got the Triceratops, the saber tooth. It's got the uh, white tiger zord. It's got, where's Jason's? I don't see Jason's. I see the black rangers. I see the white. I see, I don't know. This is probably supposed to light up and everything. I have not figured this out yet, but this is absolutely incredible. And I think this, this clips on to here somehow. Um, I don't know exactly how this works, but there's a base with a rolling stand on it. So absolutely incredible uh, Megazord there. And this thing is at least like 15 inches tall. We have another Megazord, which is super cool. These are all vintage, like early 90s Megazords. They are all from made in from Japan. Um, this is like part of a Megazord's head with like a frog on the bottom. I found a leg for it. Um, I found the blue, the blue Megazord. That's a wolf actually. This is a fist from the Red Rangers, I guess. That's one of the hands. Look at, I found a huge Lord Zed figure. Um, what does this say? I don't know, what does it say? 1999, Lord Zed figure. Instructions on how to build the Megazords. That's awesome, okay. White Tiger Zord assembly. That's amazing. Well, I'm glad I have that. We have a pterodactyl, um, but it's not pink. And then we have, looks like a cannon for an arm. Like we have another like head from a wolf. Um, we have a White Ranger. I don't know what year he's from. Um, can't really tell what year this guy's from because it's getting dark out. I might actually bring the table inside. Uh, we have another leg and then we have a whole bunch of, look at this, we have a whole bunch of swords. I'm pretty sure these are Megazord swords. Everything was separated. Here's another head. This is a swan, but it's got a head in there. Um, here's a helmet. I don't know what this goes to, but there's a, like a samurai helmet. And there's just a ton of weapons, a ton of like weapons and, and stuff. And I don't know what they go to, but I'm sure it's they sorted through this stuff and maybe this is what it goes to. But that was amazing. That was a huge throwback. I'm probably going to take a pause and I'm going to just resume the video in the other room because I didn't realize how dark it was going to get so quickly. What does this say on it? This says $30. So I'm wondering if this Megazord with the base is 30 bucks. I can't tell how this operates though, but it's got wheels on it. Oh, it does go on there. So I can drive it around and stuff, I think. The feet go on there. It's supposed to drive around, maybe hook to that. That's super cool. Okay, so anyways, I'm not gonna get sidetracked any longer. I'm gonna probably bring the rest of this in here after this basket. We'll just do this basket real quick. There's not much in here. And then we'll just resume. Um, this, it looks like a little safe or whatever for, uh, Imaginex safe maybe. This is Clayface from Imaginex. This is another listing that you'll see with a bunch of Legos. Um, this is another listing that I got that was, it was $70 for four bins of Legos. And then I got, ended up getting a Mario clock, a Lego Joker clock, one of those big ones. I got a Mario, sorry, a Mario Nightlight, like um, the little the little cube he jumps on, the little question mark cube. And then I ended up picking up a Batman playset. I got uh, some boxing gloves for my son and some other stuff. But this is Killer Croc. I got this whole bucket of figures too for like really cheap. This is like a 2004 Spider-Man. This is a Venom Mobile. These are all Imaginex figures. Green Lantern. Looks like a gorilla. I don't know who that is. Batman. Um, we have Rhino from Spider-Man's villains. Iron Man. Spider-Man. We have a shark. Looks like an Imaginex shark, like a, like a, like a mechanized shark. Black Panther Mobile. We have a small little baby Black Panther. We have some sort of guy with a, a Hydra symbol on his arm we got the lizard from spider-man darth vader we have a web from spider-man we have venom we have a little crow it looks maybe like the penguins like thing for batman there's a bat signal that goes to his tower x-men that's probably cyclops or something we have some afro boxer guy i don't know if that's supposed to be muhammad ali or mike tyson or something a flash figure owl man or hawk guy or something or hawkeye i don't know batman another batman another batman a hulk we have, is that a super dog? That's cool. Super dog, Superman. Um, we have some sort of pie. I don't know why there's a pie here. There's a pie in Iron Man. We have a green goblin. And then we have a Spider-Man, a bomb mom from, from um, Mario, a Joker, some sort of bullseye for Batman, another Spider-Man, another Iron Man. We have a Captain America shield and a Mermaid Man. Those are all Imaginex figures for the most part. Hope you guys can see okay. I will brighten the video. Um, I just really wanted to do it outside. It was 94 degrees, but it cooled off a lot. Um, so we're gonna get these boxes out of the way. We have three more boxes to go, and trust, actually four more boxes, and you're not gonna wanna miss this. These are the boxes that have all the vintage, like real Ghostbusters. They have He-Man figures in them. Um, I kind of browsed through them briefly. Like this box right here probably weighs about 40 pounds or more of action figures. 
And this box right here is mostly like toy biz and old, early Marvel Legends stuff like from the early like 90s and like mid 90s. So we're gonna cut this video. I'm gonna go in there. You're gonna see a complete change of scenery. Um, I'm probably actually gonna just do it with the backdrop of the garage door only because I have room here and the light is shining down so it, it might work well for the benefit of the video. So as you'll see me next, I got these four boxes left and these two are all action figures. These are huge GI Joes and some other miscellaneous figures. So I'll see you guys inside. Uh, stay tuned and uh, this intermission will be like not even a it's second here. So I guess change of scenery. We were first out in the front yard, then we were kind of in the backyard. Now we're on the back portion of my garage. Um, so anyways, this con this continues the Imaginex stuff that I got. Like I said, this was another $100 purchase. I, I basically uh, paid $85, $70 for the Legos, $5 for the boxing gloves, like $3 for the Mario lamp. And I think they gave me the action figures and this and like another Lego set and like a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so you'll see that later on in a different video. This is mostly just action figures and like play set stuff. We still have a Lego video, a miscellaneous video, video, and also like a military vehicle video and maybe some tech or something. So this is part of that Imaginex stuff that I got with that whole box of figures. Um, I didn't really pay up for that stuff. They gave me that whole bin of figures for like five bucks. I have a huge rack of Imaginex play sets and most of them are basically Marvel and DC. So those will go very well with those sets. Um, we're gonna jump into these two smaller boxes because these are gonna take the longest. Um, these are just modern GI Joes. But man, they're so well, they're so, uh, what is this guy? Cobra, Special Mission Cobra Island. This is classified series roadblock. Super cool, huge figure. Um, comes with the box and his weapon. Who else do we have here? There's a green beret guy. I don't know, he looks like him. Who's got the green beret on? I don't know, the, the green beret. Um, this one is Wayne B Beachhead Sneedon from Cobra Island. Super cool. I mean, these boxes are pristine. I mean, he even cut the, uh, he didn't even cut the top seal. How did he get these boxes open? The seals are still, still, how did he do that? The seals are still intact. I'm, I'm wondering, I don't even, because this insert is upside down, which means he had to have taken this out, but it doesn't even look like it's been tampered with. Um, that is incredible. So yeah, there's that. Um, there's only a couple figures in here. This one is Firefly from Koba Ireland Classified Series, like a stealth guy. And looks like, it sounds like he's got a weapon in there. Um, I just found a little radio or um, that was like C4. So those are pretty cool. I mean, I don't buy GI Joes like this. I don't buy the new ones. I, I used to have a couple like 12 inch ones back in like the early nineties. Um, and I also had obviously the three and uh, three and three quarter inch, like three inch or four inch ones. I don't, I've never owned one of these. These are basically like Hasbro's version of like Black Series or Marvel Legends for GI Joe. And these are huge. These are super cool. Um, the boxes are like brand new. And speaking of brand new GI Joes, I saw these yesterday, Gung Ho and Leatherneck. This is a special, a collector's special edition. He's got an M60 and he's got a um, MP5. Check this out. These are vintage Hasbro from, from 2001. These are 21 years old and they're in a collector's edition box and they're still sealed and it's in amazing condition. It's not sun damaged, it's not bent up. I mean, the corners are a little bit curved but they're not bent or creased, so that's awesome. I don't know much about these, but I think they're super cool. And there's obviously some sort of collectability about these. Um, these are Impractical Jokers. 14 points of uh, articulation. This is Joe Gatto. Marty Abrams presents Mego. This, these are all numbered. This is 960. These are all numbered. Impractical Jokers. So we have Joe Gatto. That's awesome. We have Sal Vucchino. He's numbered 115. He's got a Staten Island shirt on. He's still inside of a bag. We have um, James Murray in like a jumpsuit, six number 680. And we ha I think we have the whole set. James Murray, we should be missing uh, Brian Quinn. And we got Brian Quinn. He's in like in a parka or some sort of uh, bear outfit, number 167. So these are obviously numbered collectibles. They're amazing. Now this guy said his brother had a massive Star Wars collection. Said that the, he, he wasn't going to sell it in the, this lot of stuff that his wife sold on Amazon. And then it would probably be a summer product that that would take them all summer to go through. And I don't really want to give him all summer to go through it. I really just wanted to purchase it because he could have everything from lightsabers to uh, helmets. He could have Black Series figures. He could have vintage like Star Wars vehicles and stuff like that. I really just want to go over there and see what he's got and tell me what he's thinking. Because it's going to take a lot of work to try and list every one of those items on Amazon or wherever they sell. Um, and I would love to get them. I mean, this stuff is super cool. And seeing the kind of condition and quality of the items that his brother 
collected. I mean, it's my honor to have his brother's prized collection in my possession because I will store it. I will take care of it. I will preserve it. I will display it proudly. Um, whatever I end up doing with it and stuff, you know, and I just, I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. And we're just going to go through um, this box right here. Man, I mean, thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys taking this ride and this journey with me. This is going to be video part one of this entire crazy haul. Um, I mean, there's tons of Lego sitting behind this camera right now. Tons of electronics, tons of military like play sets and, and planes and everything you can imagine and stuff like this. This box is crazy. This one's cool. That one's crazy. So stick with me. Uh, I'm kind of rushing through this still, but uh, there's a lot to go through. There's a, there's at least a couple hundred or more figures. Um, 1994, the thing we have Toka from, um, don't, I don't want to tell all the dates from these, but pretty much, you know, these are Ninja Turtles. They're probably from late 89 to maybe early, uh, nineties. Toka, the vil a villain from uh, Ninja Turtles. We have RoboCop. Um, where does it say? It probably is made by Kenner. Oh, Ryan. RoboCop, 1988 RoboCop figure. Um, he's got like a little, uh, maybe he's like, oh, he's a cap. He's got a cap gun. You put the caps in there and he pops like he's shooting. He's got a cap gun. That's cool. Um, I think we have it looks like Craven the Hunter and you flick the switch and it shows like his abs normal and then it shows it's as abs like ripped up like his suit it looks like Craven the Hunter but I could be wrong I have no idea who this is um we have Magneto oh my god this brings me back he's missing his helmet but I used to have this this is a 1991 Magneto without his helmet but he's got magnets on his hands so he used to be able to put stuff in his hands and he used to be able to hold it that was metal because he attracts metal um, I don't know what these are called, but these were freaking me out because I swear I had these as a kid. I don't know if they're G.I. Joe's or what. Um, I couldn't find a date or a name brand on these, but they're mech suits. And you used to be able to like flick the like the rockets out and like this thing shoots and this like lifts up. Um, it says Draconis and like the leg pieces come apart and like you take the guy. It's like a mech suit with like a figure in it and the figure comes out and they look like G.I. Joe's, but they're not left and right. And it looks like an alien. I don't know what make or model these are, but there's no there's no name brand on the figures or on the mech suits, but it like he clips into the suit and like you close them up. If anybody knows the name of these, I mean I'll obviously research them, but if you get to it before me, there's a ton of these in here. There's a ton. Look at this. There there's all these big suits, these big exo suit, these mech suits. Um there's a bunch in here. I don't know what they're called, but I know I had a couple of these as a kid. Just like you see a street shark or you see like a power ranger with the flip heads that used to have, like, you know, when you used to have this item, I don't know if I had any of these specifically, I might've had this one in a different color. Um, but you'll see more of those. We're going to kind of just keep going into this. F please forgive me if I don't know the names of the figures, because there's so many villains and creatures and things in here and superheroes. I don't know them all. This looks like a frog from, uh, Mirage Studios Playmates 1990. It's probably a villain from Ninja Turtles. Um, another guy from Ninja Turtles, he's got a sewer. He looks like he's made out of garbage. He's got like dead fish on him and like rotting like garbage and stuff. He's got like a banana peel on his head. Um, this is also from 1990 from um, Ninja Turtles. I don't know why this is in here. It's just a Demetrodon uh, vinyl. It's probably vintage, but it's vinyl. Um, we have a sumo wrestler, uh, Mirage Studios 1991 Playmates Toys. I mean, maybe this was a villain from Ninja Turtles. I have no idea, but it's a sumo guy. Um, it seems like most of this box is like G.I. Joe and like Marvel figures and sanitation department. I don't know. This, this guy, like he, he looks like a trash can or maybe some sort of, he's made out of the ocean. He's got like octopus tentacle. He's got like suction cups on his, on his chest. He looks like he's got a clam face. Um, that could be his name. I have no idea. This is from 91, probably Ninja Turtles. Um, let's get to something different. I think, I don't remember who this is. This looks like Mumra. But I don't remember who this is. This is Mirage Studios Playmate Toys 1991. So this is probably Ninja Turtles as well. He's a mummy or a pharaoh. He looks like a Beetleborg. He's super cool. Um, we have a VR Trooper. This bot, This is part of the biggest haul. This, trust me, this haul, I rented a U-Haul. This is amazing. I love VR Troopers. They used to be able to shine a light into their head and their visor used to glow. If anybody used to watch VR Troopers, there's kind of like Power Rangers. Beetleborgs is kind of like Power Rangers combined with uh, like Transformers. We have a very old Shredder from 1991. Really cool. He's got like robes on and there's a lightning bug in here. Bear in mind. I think this is Archangel from, I think this is Archangel from um, X-Men. 
Now, all these figures are like early 90s to late 80s. 1991, I think that's Archangel, don't get me wrong. Um, it's definitely not DC, it looks like Marvel. Uh, I forgot who this is. I don't know who this is. I swear I would remember uh, if I had more time to think. This is from 1993. Toy Biz, I think it's got to be a Marvel hero. He's got like, uh, he kind of looks like Gambit, honestly. He looks like Gambit. There's a lot of, a lot of like uh, Marvel X-Men stuff in here. Like this is uh, Prod Weapon X. This is a naked, <laughs> naked uh, Toy Biz 1992 Marvel uh, Legends figure. This is like Weapon X. He's like the back, the tank, uh, not back to tank, the tank where he gets adamantium put into his body. He's got claws on. Like all, a lot of these are um, X-Men. This is uh, Juggernaut. Super cool figure, massive feet. He's got wheels on it for like momentum. You're supposed to be like do this and like, it's supposed to like punch his arms and it's supposed to make him like walk on his roller skates. Um, we have Scorpion. I've never seen some of these. Like his, his scorpion like flips like to like, uh, what does it do? Oh, it, you flip his arm and he like stings. Amazing figures. I love these. I get super excited. I love looking at this stuff. We have stuff from these. I remember these freaking weird like rescue trolls. This is supposed to be like Terminator. He's wearing like a leather jacket with dog tags and a zipper. And he's got like a, a like a metal body. Or maybe it's like C-3PO, but super cool. I don't remember what these trolls are called. It's made by Hasbro from 1992. I don't know. I had them. I had some of these. I don't know what they're called. Here's another one. This is a football troll. Is this made by Hasbro too? Wow. 1992 Hasbro. This is like a football, like a zombie, evil, good luck troll. So this pile is going to get bigger and bigger. Um, this looks like a He-Man figure, but it could be a knockoff because there's no markings on it. It looks like it was cast exactly from um, that snake He-Man figure. I don't remember what his name. Uh, Tongue... Lashor is maybe it's Lashor, I think, because tongue lash or something. Uh, well, yeah, I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, I'm just gonna guess at these. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't really mind being wrong and being told otherwise. This is a 1995. I think this is Man Spider because we have Man Bat and we have Batman and we have Spider Man. And I think this is Man Spider, but it looks like a doppelganger because he's got eight limbs. He actually is like a, a, a spider, but he's a Spider Man, you know? He's like a, he's like a Man Spider Spider Man, if that makes any sense. Um, I know I, I love this one. This is actually the vi a villain. I think it's a villain from um, Ninja Turtles from 1989. It's Metalhead. And actually, it has like a clear piece of plastic. If you shine a light in here, his eyes will light up. So like if you're like in the light, his little brain inside allows his eyes to light up. Amazing figures. We're not even close to halfway through this box. We have a vintage, uh, what year is this? Toy Biz 1995 pump action. Um, it looks like he sprays some sort of water or fluid out of his nipples. <laughs> I don't know. He's got a little pump and there's two like little water holes or something out of his chest or his cape. But he's a super cool figure. I love Mysterio before Spider-Man, the new movie came out. I loved Mysterio as a character. Um, I just didn't think they, they didn't do him justice. Um, this looks like another uh, 1990, like another Ninja Turtles figure. We will get into some Ninja Turtles. Actually, let me see if I can find one. Because I swear I saw Splinter. I know that I saw, I looked at these briefly the other day. Um, just kind of wanted to see what was in here. Um, this is all yesterday. This is Dark Side, maybe? Or Apocalypse? This has got to be like Apocalypse. That's got to be Apocalypse. He's blue, he's bald, and he's proud. Um, small Soldiers. This might be from McDonald's. I can't tell what this says, but this is the guy, the launcher, that he launches him over his head. Super cool. Um, don't remember his name. He reminds me of Crumb from Our Real Monsters. I don't know why. Another Ninja Turtles figure. He's massive. 1989. Uh, he also looks like mud and garbage and like... He's like rocks. He's like rocks and fossils. He's got like spider wet, spiders and like salamanders and bones and stuff. He's like made out of crater. Maybe he's crater face or something. I don't know. Um, this, I had this. I had this. I'm going to take a deep breath. I had this as a kid. He looks like he's got a pokeball on his arm. If anybody has this figure, look at his right patch. He's got like a little round circle on his arm. Um, looks like a pokeball on his right side of his arm. But this is like something McCloud or McQuack or something like that. And I think Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles. And he's supposed to have, I think in the other box, I swear, I looked through it briefly just to see what was in there. Um, I think there was feathers or wings, and I'm pretty sure they're in here. I used to have him. Um, we got a panda with a samurai panda from, I mean, all this stuff. He's missing nothing. He's got all of his little armor pieces. I probably have his weapon somewhere. Look at that, the panda. He's from Ninja Turtles as well. Um, what else we got? Let's look. Let's find an actual Ninja Turtle, shall we? Let's find this Ninja Turtle. Uh, who do we got here? Okay. Um, don't know who this is. It looks like man, a manta ray from Ninja Turtles. I, I tried to pick out one. This is 1990. These are all Ninja Turtles. I'm pretty sure they're villains. 
He's super cool. His cape is like his manta rays. Um, I'm trying to look through here. I think I got Rock Steady here. Rock Steady from 1988. Wow, it's even earlier. 1988 with a soft head. Um, he's missing his fist, but maybe I'll find it in something. And then we have, uh, looks like uh, 1991. It looks like a werewolf or something like that. Some sort of werewolf, like wearing like a loincloth or some sort of feral. Um, still digging. I got another m m uh, Magneto here. I don't know what the point of this. I'm guessing Cap Gun maybe, or maybe he's supposed to be in a vehicle and he's, I have no idea. But this one doesn't have a helmet that comes off. This is from 1992, Toy Biz. We have another one. We have a huge Venom figure, which I absolutely love. And I think, what do you do? Okay, you push his legs and his like his mouth goes up like he's like gonna like eat you with his mouth or his tongue. Um, I'm not gonna try and search for all the dates on these, but they're all old. These are all, this is like, you can tell um, he's got like a little key in the back. You're supposed to like twist him or wind him up. This is Dr. Doom with his cape. Amazing figures. These are like, these are actual like four inch figures. These are not three and a quarter. Um, spring-loaded Wolverine claws. The spring and the other one I think is broken or missing. This is a super old, this is like mid-80s Wolverine with his like tan and yellow before they changed it to blue and yellow and stuff. Cyclops figure. Um, I don't know what he does. He might light up or something because he's got a little lever on the back and his visor looks like it's see-through, but obviously the batteries are dead. Um, but maybe you're supposed to flick them and something happens. I don't know. Like these are super old. I don't know what this is. It looks like another mech suit. It's obviously a cheesy, cheesy one. There's no production date. There's no uh, company name on there, but it's like a little mech suit. It kind of looks like Alien as well or Among Us or something like that. Here's another suit. Like, I don't know what these are. These guys in these suits, I don't know what they are, but they're super cool. Stickers all over them. I know I had some of these. It's just been so long. I swear I had a brown one with blue glass on it, but I don't remember. This one looks like, uh, kind of looks like Ratchet from Transformers because he looks kind of like a Humvee or he's got like the lights on. Um, high pressure. I mean, some of these have names on them. He's a fire truck. Yeah. I don't know. Um, moving on. We have a vintage Kenner 1991 Car Carol Co. Like half black, half see-through uh, Transformer. Uh, sorry, not Transformer. Terminator figure. This video is going to be long. Trust me. We have uh, 1994 NFL player. I don't know who this is. It could be Emmett. Oh, it's Taylor. Somebody Taylor. I don't know who that is. Um, G.I. Joe. Got another G.I. Joe. If any of these are valuable, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the names of these, but they're all from... Let me just get a gaze of what these years are from. So, G.I. Joe. Made in China. It says H1. I don't know what these are, but it says H1. Uh, made in China. H1. There's no stamp on the feet, but these are really small. And these are what I think of when I think of... Like, this one's got a marine symbol on them. And there's way too much quality to have these be, like, knockoffs. These are obviously vintage... Um, I don't think, I don't know if they would have put the year on them. It says H1. I don't know what that means. Um, this guy here looks like a scuba diver suit. I swear somebody had like a high, oh, it says police on it. So this might be from RoboCop. Um, 19, yeah, 1988 Orion. This is like a RoboCop figure. Amazing. He's probably more rare than the other one. This is a Punisher figure with another one of those cap gun things on the back. Um, these are super old figures. 19... 1990 Marvel, really awesome. Uh, Frank Castle, right there, pretty cool. Um, this doesn't look like 1992 Hasbro. These are like, I don't know what these are. These are like Ronin Warriors, something like that, or Samurai. They're like, they're like robots. They're like in between a GI Joe size and like a, they're weird size. Um, this is from Ninja Turtles. I used to have one of these. I think he had a broken arm. Um, this is 1990. There's a robot. It reminds me of Alpha Five from Power Rangers. Uh, we have a cheap. Decepticon, McDonald's toy, don't care about that too much. Uh, Dr. Octopus with claws and sun, sun, uh, suction cups to stick to the window. He could stick to your window and then still grab things and like hold it in the window and he'll be suspended. That's super cool. Um, 19, 1990, Marvel. And then we have uh, Ace Ventura, The Mask. 1994, and look at that. Jim Carrey, you spin his arm. Look at that. And he turned into The Mask. It's super awesome. I don't know. I've never seen one of these before. Uh, at the back of his head looks like a Slimer's butt cheeks, but it's supposed to be Ace Ventura in the suit and he flips into the mask. Amazing. Um, half of a G.I. Joe. We have another G.I. Joe with a space helmet missing. Um, it looked, okay, here's Gambit. His, okay, here's Gambit. That's cool. Oh, he kicks. So he, he put his leg down and then, oh yeah, he kicks up. That's weird. So I've never seen, he's cross-eyed as well. Uh, vintage Gambit. We also have a vintage Shredder. I remember having this one as a kid. Um, super skinny shredder. Here we go. Space Raph. 
Raphael. Now, we still got probably another 40 figures in here, and we got this massive box. So stick with me. We have Bebop missing his hand as well, kind of like Rocksteady. Um, another G.I. Joe. There's so many G.I. Joes. Here's the, here's the football player's helmet. That's cool that that exists. That's neat. Giants. Um, this looks like Duke. Um... It says, Made in China H1. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it could be like a Hasbro thing. I don't know that. I don't know much about G.I. Joe's. But they're really awesome, and I'm glad that they're here. This is another guy. G.I. Joe. Half of a G.I. Joe. Uh, three quarters of a G.I. Joe. I had this figure as a kid, and I still don't know what it is. Um, another one of those guys that I told you looked like a Ronin Warrior or some sort of uh, Transformers collaboration. Another G.I. Joe. He's a pilot. We have another guy here. He looks kind of... oh. I wonder if this is Mortal Kombat, because that other guy could have been Scorpion. This guy looks like um, the guy with the blades for hands. I don't know. It looks like Enfys Nest or one of the, the, the guy from uh, Mortal Kombat. Another G.I. Joe. What do we got here? Another one of those robot guys. I still can't figure out what those are from. I don't know who he's called, but he's a pterodactyl. He's super cool. Toy Biz Marvel. I hope Is this Fing Fang Foom? No, he's a pterodactyl, but his wings flap. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember, remember how you do his wings, but his wings flap. We have Black Suit Spider-Man with his chest piece that spits out a web. They don't make toys like this anymore. Um, I remember this guy. He's a fly. This isn't that something flyman, is it? That Bart, what is his name? There's a fly guy here. Crazy. Um, this looks like Apocalypse. This is Apocalypse right here. He's got a huge A on his chest. This looks X-Men-y. This is Apocalypse right here. It's got to be. Um, the other one I wasn't too sure of. This is 1991 Marvel. Uh, Toy Biz, Inc. What else we got? We have a vintage Buzz Lightyear. It just says Disney on it and Pixar. Burger King. Man, in fact, they don't make toys like this anymore. This is like a vintage 94 Buzz Lightyear from Burger King. Super amazing. He probably lit up or talked. Um, he has a button on the back that doesn't do anything. Um, who's this guy right here? Oh, probably another huge... Who is this? like a Frankenstein, honestly. Who is this guy? Um, Playmates Toys, 1991. Troma Incorporated, 1991. I don't know who this is, but amazing, huge figure. Super detailed. I mean, this stuff was, like, really cheap back in the day, and uh, it's very well made. I love it. Um, here's a Wolverine in a green suit with bronze on. No idea. You can tell it's Wolverine by the hair. Another uh, another G.I. Joe. We have Wolverine. I wish he wasn't missing his arm, but we have another Wolverine. This is my favorite Wolverine. I love the light blue with the yellow and the black. Um, another... I don't know. You're going to have to tell me what these figures are. Another figure looks like a G.I. Joe. This guy, I swear, I remember. This looks kind of like an Iron Man, but it looks like he's wearing, like, fishnets or something. It says Marvel 1994. I don't remember what his name is, but he's, like, wearing, like, a loincloth, like, jungle thing with, like, fishnets. Weird. Oh, this guy is cool. I played with him yesterday. Um, this guy is a Spider-Man that has, like, this cord, and, like, you shoot it, and the web, the web shoots out, and, like, you retract it back. And it pulls the web back in, and you can keep shooting it over and over again. And it's super cool. I used to have a lot of Iron Man toys like this. They used to, like, like stealth Iron Man. Used to zip on the zip line and stuff. This brings me way back. I love this stuff. I miss KB Toys with a passion. I miss Toys R Us. We're going to get down to this box. Um, I found another Transformer. The cassette tape one. Don't remember his name. Found some sort of guy that rides in a car that pops out. Don't know his name. This looks creepy as heck, dude. This is creepy as heck. This looks like... I don't even know, like a possessed demon ninja turtle. I have no idea. Um, I found this guy's pants and some legs. I found some legs. These are all like G.I. Joe parts. Um, this is probably Leatherneck or something like that. This look guy looks like right here, looks like Sinister Doctor Strange, honestly, in my opinion. This, excuse me, this is a ninja. These are all, if you can see these from this far away, this looks like a soccer ref. I mean, they made everything. This looks like another Duke. This looks like the rabbit from... I don't know what this is from. This rabbit's from something. I don't know. It's a McDonald's toy. Um, really cool. He's got a star on his face. I don't know who this is, but it's a super tiny figure. He's got like a little, like a green star on his face. Half of a G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe that's got some weird hair. We got um, v vertical infantry. It goes to a plane. That's cool. Helicore. Um, what do we got here? This guy is awesome. This looks like Ultron. If it is Marvel. I mean, the helmet looks like Ultron, but I don't see a date or a company on this at all. The helmet looks like Ultron. So that's amazing. Uh, we're just gonna kind of fly through these last ones. Another G.I. Joe. This one looks like Cobra Commander or Snake Eyes or something. This guy's like a punk rock dude. He kind of looks like he's got a kiss face on. He's got like those Jim Simmons kind of thing. Um, this guy 
has a hologram on his chest and he's got claws like Wolverine. He's got some sort of hologram sticker on his chest. I don't know who that is. Finally, we have this green dude. He looks like a Batman RoboCop. I don't know this green guy. So throw all the stuff in the box. Um, I'm not gonna, I mean, it survived 20, 30 years. I'm, don't cringe. I know you get, I'm not throwing them in there, but I'm, I'm placing them gently, trust me. Thank you all for, if you're still tuning in right now, you, you don't want to miss this last box. You really don't want to miss this last box. Um, I'm trying to get this done, spend time with my family, maybe watch some Daredevil on Netflix or something, or on Disney Plus. Um, but this is going to be part one. So I'll let you guys know if I find out any more information on this stuff, if you can give me some hints or some feedback down below, that'd be great. I mean, I love all this stuff. I, I grew up on the Ninja Turtles cartoon, the Ninja Turtles movies, the Ninja Turtles toys. I grew up with G.I. Joe's. Grew up with Power Rangers, VR Troopers. I mean, my, I used to watch Robocop with my dad. And my girlfriend and the kids love this stuff. We love Terminator. We love X-Men. We love Marvel. You know, I hope that they do a good job when they re-release um, the new uh, Fantastic Four movie. So now, this is the coup de grace. This is insane. All I had to do was look in the top of here, like right here. This is like that McCloud or McQuack guy, the guy's wings, the duck. So that'll go in there. Um, I don't even know how to do this one. This looks like a kangaroo. Um, these are all kind of similar. This is a kangaroo. I'm guessing it's probably from Ninja Turtles. We have a vintage, what is this? Mirage Studios Playmates Toys. This is 1989. This is a turtle, The Works. It's called The Works. It's missing something, but this is sewers. It says The Works, so it's the base of a uh, Ninja Turtles vehicle. Um, here's Splinter. I knew I saw him somewhere. He's sitting on the top. Splinter with a soft head. Original Splinter. Super cool. Um... We have this police officer guy like that wants to raise the roof. His arms won't go down. I don't know where he's from. There's no, uh, what is this from? Um, 19, 1989 Parker bro. So I have no idea what this is from, but this is obviously from something like Don't Wake Daddy or something like that. It looks weird. Sorry, my voice cracked. It looked really weird. This guy is massive. This guy is like an orangutan or a squirrel. Um, uh, 1985. Uh... T-Wolf, LGN Toys. I don't know what this tele, tele, Telepi, LC. I have no idea who this is, but he's he's huge. He is a massive thing. He's like a big Yeti monkey thing, like a big abominable snowman guy. So um, I don't know, but we're going to get into some Ghostbusters. Anybody like Ghostbusters? Um, this is super cool. I don't know if he glows in the dark, but this is Egon Spengler. I do have his proton pack in here. Like I said, I browsed through the top layer of these the other day. I'm pretty sure this is Zedmore in some sort of uh, suit. We have um, Leonardo, vintage, like really old school, like Leonardo. Something's broken in there. I'm hoping, oh, what? Is, is this shell open? Oh my gosh. There's a there's a pizza, like throwing disc in here and a grappling hook in his shell. I was like, I hope it's his hand. I hope it's his hand, but it's his weapons. He doesn't have katanas, he's got a grappling hook. Amazing. Um, what else we got? I'm gonna say that a lot. We have, I swear I had this, Character two, this is a crocodile. A lot of these sea creatures are probably the Ninja Turtles villains, like you know, like you know, the turtles and stuff. So, crocodile, I'm not gonna look at the dates on all of these, like I said. Um, this is cool. This might go to that, it's a turtle shell, and it's got that's weird, it's really weird. It's like a contraption, Mirage Studios 1988. That, I think that goes to that the works thing. Um, so those are the flaps for that. Whoa, what is this? Don't know what this is. It's like a G.I. Joe cockpit thing because it swivels and stuff. Super cool. Um, we got Venkman. Ghost, real Ghostbusters. Uh, 1984 or 1987. What? What happened to his leg? No. No, no, no. It's a flocked moss man and his leg fell off. Shoot. This is Masters of the Universe. Like, amazing. 1981 figure. And the rubber band broke inside of his leg. And I don't know if I did it or not. 1981, Moss Man looking guy. I don't, I think that's uh, Masters of the Universe. We have, um, okay, that's cool. Frankenstein is like Universal Monsters. Like his Frankenstein, his face goes up. This box is amazing. We have this guy. It looks like from Ghostbusters. Is there a date on here somewhere? It's like, it's like a ghost and it chases you and it's got sneakers on. I have no idea what this is. But they don't, oh, you used to put... Uh, one of those rip cords in there, and he used to vroom across the across the floor with this weighted gyroscopic ball on the bottom. What else we got? We have another thing. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's like a Ninja Turtle copter. Look at that! Look at it. it's a turtle. 
with a turtle shell and like coconuts on palm trees or something. S amazing. Absolutely amazing. A Ninja Turtle Copter. This guy's collection is amazing. I'm going to put a shout out. And um, his name was Tommy. I don't know his last name. I know his brother's name. I forgot his last name. His, his brother's name is Nate. But the guy who passed away, his name was Tommy. Tommy, you have an amazing collection. Um, I mean, uh, just one of these figures makes anybody's day. Look, at this is a Venkman from... I mean, this is incredible. 1990 Venkman. It, he might glow in the dark, his straps. This is super cool. Thank you for this. I mean, it was... Um, a bad turn of events, and I really didn't, I mean, I was super excited when I was there, but it wasn't the time or the place. His brother was trying to clean out his brother's apartment. He passed away two months prior, and I want to dedicate this video uh, to him and all the other videos that go along with this collection. So thank you for all this, because, I mean, it's going to a really good home. I have a massive collection, and this stuff is amazing. Um, thank you again, and God bless, and rest in peace, Tommy. Um, this is super cool and I can't thank you guys enough. I mean, I'm passing it down from my, your family to mine and myself, um, 1990, 1981. Um, so thank you. This is super cool. I mean, it, it really made me happy. Um, this guy is messes in the universe. I don't know his name. Splinter again, not missing any limbs. Awesome. We have a, oh no, Michelangelo's missing his shell. Mikey, vintage Mikey is kind of sticky. We have, oh, what? We have Thundercats up in here? Thundercats with a chewed foot. Tele, telepix. Telepix. Oh, that, that, that guy was from Thundercats. 1980, 1985, Telepix. Thundercats. He's from Thundercats. That big, that big Yeti guy is from Thundercats. I didn't remember. That's Lionel. And I know, wow, did Skeletor's head really fall off? Wow. 1989, there's got to be his head in here somewhere. Um, I don't know difference. This looks like he switches. He's got three to try face or three. He's got three different heads. Um, 1982, missing an arm. I'm sure the pieces are in here somewhere. Oh, super cool. Another Michelangelo. Original Ninja Turtle sticking his tongue out. Looking fresh. Uh, what do we got here? Man at Arms. Okay, this is Man at Arms. I know that because I have one. Man at Arms. Uh, super cool, vintage. We have Spycor with his, wow, with his legs intact, with all of his nubbins intact, with his weapon. Spycor, super cool. Awesome. He wants to do the splits and do Michael Jackson and dance and stuff, so. Uh, we're gonna get this out. Uh, I don't know what this is. This looks like it's part of, like, some sort of G.I. Joe thing or something. It's got this Cobra symbol on it. I don't know what this is for, if anybody can tell me what this is. Um, a lot of figures in here, man. A lot. Uh, this looks like oh, Columbia Pictures. This is 1988. This is like Ghostbusters 2. Is this the librarian? Her chest is supposed to pop out. Oh, she's a ghost. Oh my God. Look at that. Her eyes pop out and her, that's crazy creepy. That's Transformer or um, Ghostbusters. I'm guessing this ghost finger puppet thing goes to this. I swear I used to have this as a kid. You put these in his mouth. And like he's, you push down on it and they like pop out or something. Um, I swear I had this weird ghost thing that like burps up other ghosts. And I saw there was a blue one in here. Um, I don't remember if there was a name on this or not. But I swear I saw a ghost that was translucent that had like Columbia pictures on it. Uh, flocked Panther. It's very, very heavy and solid. It's a flocked. I don't know if this is. Oh, is this? What? Is this the mass? Is this a Masters of the Universe battle cat? Isn't the Battle Cat a, p a purple panther? Man, yep, look at He-Man with the rubber squishy head. This is the battle damage He-Man. These have to get, these gotta get some cleaning. Um, Triclops, Mess of the Universe. Triclops missing his foot. Looks like a dog got into it. Some more G.I. Joe parts, I think. Um, is this a transforming football player? What, how do you, what? He's got a football helmet. He's got something in his back. His back opens up and there's a football in there. What is this from? If this is Columbia Pictures, I'm going to freak out. Columbia Pictures. This is like a possessed football player from Ghostbusters. Look at that. Look at that. It's a crocodile. His butt turns into his mouth and, oh, there's a football for a tongue. That's crazy. Uh, vintage McDonald's fries, Transformers. Um, some sort of cop that has a punching action fist. It probably goes with that cop. Columbia Pictures. I don't know. 1988. I don't know what else. There's bones. This has got to be a skeleton of like Ghostbusters. It's it's bones. He's a skeleton. 
We have April O'Neil. So it says Turtles on her. Super cool figure. That's amazing. Obviously, Ninja Turtle weapon. Don't know who this is. Um, wow, these figures are huge. He's got tentacles. He's got an Aquanaut suit on. Uh, Hasbro Takara Toys, 1988. This might be from like Alien or something. Or I don't even know. His helmet comes off. What? His helmet comes off. Oh, I'm super excited right now. I'm so happy and so excited. Another Michelangelo. Fresh and sticky. New kids on the block trading card. <laughs> um, Greg Perkill. There's a, there's a couple cards in here. This had Columbia Pictures on it. This is very high quality, very hard plastic. 1987 Columbia Pictures. This could be from Ghostbusters. I don't. It could be from real Ghostbusters. I don't know. Um, this guy looks like a villain from Ninja Turtles. He looks like an evil imp or a gnome or something. Is this... Is this... What is in my box? There's a bug in there. Who is this? Is this Xena or like some sort of power girl? Who is this? Mattel, 1984? Who is this? Who, is this a Barbie? This is a Barbie action figure. Like literally a four-inch Barbie action figure. Um, we got Angry Pigs. So I guess before Angry Birds, they had Angry Pigs. Uh, I guess they're collectible. They're old, obviously. Um... Quasimodo? Who is this guy? He's got, like, balls for a chin. Quasimodo? It is Quasimodo. What the frick? Columbia Pictures, 1989. So, what? He's Quasimodo. His back's all sticking out. He's got a hunched back. He's got, like, a shackles and a chain on him. That's Quasimodo from 1989. Man, we have Roboto, one of my favorite He-Man figures. I love it because you can see um, his cogwheels inside. It makes his mouth move, but his, his actually his gears move inside. Missing his forearm or his arm. Another one of these? Another one of these figure ghosts that are hollow. Egon Spengler, real Ghostbusters, old as crap. Another Egon Spengler, the Fright Features one. Um, the tie only works one direction. It doesn't work the other direction. Um, oh, oh, you push his arm. His uh, mouth opens and his tie opens like he's freaked out. Super cool. This looks like it goes to Ninja Turtles or something. Probably that vehicle. Um, I'm guessing Masters of the Universe. I don't know this figure. But it looks like his chest pops open and he's got gears inside. Amazing. Um, Mattel 1986. It's got to be Masters of the Universe. They all have the same kind of like loincloth like fur outfit on. Got to be Masters of the Universe. Uh, this is Fisto. I know that. But he's obviously missing his armor and pretty much his whole fist and his arm oh wow cyclone you spin him around i think he spins yep cyclone i have him that's sick so it's super cool he's missing his sticker on his chest um some sort of dinosaur hippopotamus ghost i don't know what this thing is columbia pictures these are got to be like real ghostbusters toys they have to be another uh it looks like a stoplight or something that's got a band-aid on it i'm guessing it's by ninja turtles um we keep going. This looks like Battle Damage He-Man with mold on it, missing his arm. We have another. We I think this is Stance. His ear pops out? What the frick? Oh, his ear pops out and his hair goes up. Look at that. His ear pops up and his hair, his ears come out. Um, this is Van Stance with the active goggles. We have a ghost. Another, like, little ghost. I don't, I don't know. if These figures have to go with these. We have a Fry Transformers or Milkshake. Crossbow. A lot of figures left. This is like a snake or something. Mattel, 1986. This looks like a He-Man figure. This looks like snakes. I don't know what this snake figure is. Um, what is this? Is brain open or he's missing something in his head? What is, what is going on with your legs, man? Fix your crotch, dude. He's got his armor on. I don't, this isn't Prince Adam, but it looks kind of close. It looks kind of like King Richard or something. King, 1983 He-Man figure doing the squats. Um, somebody's belt, I'm guessing. This is amazing that there's... Oh, Skeletor with his armor. And, oh, he's missing his hand. Squishy head. I wonder if I can replace that. His other Skeletor was missing his head, but I got to see if they're the same year. So he's missing his hand. I mean, it looks like some animal got into this. This is Panthor, I think. No, who is this? Who is this? This isn't Panthor, is it? Is it Panthor? From Lionel? Uh, or sorry, from Thundercats, 1985 Panthor. He does a fist thing. That's cool. Fist bump. Some, maybe that's the hand to that Ninja Turtle villain. Um, this has to be, these have to be Ghostbusters. This has to be Ghostbusters. This is a mailman. Look at that. When you push down on him, or wait, wait, how do you do this? His, look at, his, his pants are a mouth and his tie and the eyes are a shirt. That's freaking so cool. Um, 
What is this? What are you? Are you a sock? Why are you a sock? Why is there a sock in here? Um, trash can lid, probably Ninja Turtles. We got this little cute little bird. I don't know. It's got a footprint on his head. And it says Mirage Studio Playmate Toys 1989. I'm guessing that, I mean, I don't know what else Mirage Studios and Playmate Toys did. But it's a, it's a little, one of those little walking robot toys. <gasps> what? Where is that guy? Where's that guy? Is this the ripcord for that dude? Oh my gosh. Where's that guy? Where's the, remember I told you that ghost had a ripcord? Oh my gosh, this is the ripcord for him. That's the ripcord for that guy. Does it have a date on here or anything? I don't know who makes this. Who are you? That's, that's the, gotta be the ripcord for that guy. Super cool. Um, what are you? Are you a Megazord? Oh, is this a Megazord thing? What, what is this claw thing? Gotta be, gotta be something related to either Megazord or something. Um, we have one of the, oops, his head popped off. Put, go back. Is this one of the, oh, Foot Clan. This is a Foot Clan robot. That's what the red foot, I forgot. This is a Foot Clan. Obviously, it was wearing Shredder's colors. Another one of those creepy ghost Colombian pictures things that looks like it may be like, supposed to be like a trap, and then the Ghostbuster steps on it, and it like locks them in there. It's gotta be. It's gotta be like a Ghostbusters thing. Like, yeah, look at that's gotta be Ghostbusters. It has to be. We have Egon Spengler in a spacesuit with his helmet. Egon Spengler's proton pack and Neutrona wand. Another ghost figure with like a walrus or something. Something weird. Um, probably. What is this thing? Right, this looks like it's gotta be Thundercats or Masters of the Universe. It looks like a little vehicle, like a little dinosaur dude. Something. It's gotta be cleaned up. Super cool. Super cute. If you can see that, another proton stream wand. We have a uh, beast man missing his arms. We had a beast man earlier. It looks like we can make some figures out of here. Toro guy? Toro's guy? How do you... Uh... Oh, okay. His head pops out. Who's this guy? He is not Masters of the Universe. He is not branded. Don't know who he is, but I'll look him up. Super cool, like bull minotaur guy. Another ghost figure. Columbia Pictures. Man, I think we have the Ghostbusters and all their monsters. Um, it looks like Spin to Splinter's butt, if we can find the top half of him. Uh, I don't know who this is, but I know it's Masters of the Universe, and he's got like a vampire. He's probably part of Skeletor's Legion. He's wearing like a huge, he's a big fur guy. Werewolf, Wereman, were I don't know. Making stuff up here. Um, oh gosh, Turtle Pizza with a saw blade through it, a chef knife with bloody pizza and cockroaches, 1990. Super cool chef guy, obviously a Ninja Turtles villain. Um, wow. Is this, is this a Transformer? <gasps> it's a Transformer. Oh my gosh, these are cool. I love, I love old Transformers. Tomy Japan, super cool. Don't know what it is. Probably goes to something bigger. It's a little spaceship Transformer. Um, I'm guessing this goes to one of those click and play sets. What else we got? We have Prince Adam missing his arms. So, hey, they're, they make good parts pieces. I mean, I can put maybe a couple together and fix them. This is Zedmore wearing like a space suit or something, some sort of uh, suit. We have uh, Trap Jaw, Masters of the Universe, Motu. Another Angry Pig, something like that. This is a long video, I apologize. This looks like it's part of a Transformer. Is his head missing? How do you get his head out of there? Oh, cool. He's not He's not missing anything, he's complete. Um, Little, what is this? Police Academy. No way is that cop Warner Brothers. That cop, that, that cop. That's a police academy figure, and this is a scooter that goes with that, that that Warner Brothers other figure, the cop. I think that's the guy who makes all the noises that I absolutely love. He's a stand-up comedian. Whoa! Is this Zedmore? What is he supposed to do? Do I push him out or something? His chest opens up, but I don't know what's supposed to happen. He's in a huge spacesuit. That's amazing. That's Zedmore. Uh, we have another... This is Venkman, another Venkman that's not wearing pink. Casey Jones with golf clubs or hockey sticks? What? Casey Jones? I haven't seen... Oh, he's got a little bit of glue on him. Did somebody try to glue his bag? Please don't tell me he tried to glue his bag. That better be hot glue. I can probably take it off. It's hot glue. I can take it off. Casey Jones with the golf bag. Hopefully it's hockey sticks in here. Um, what is this? What are you? This is a shovel. This like goes to back one of the villains. Um... Snake Staff? This has got to be Heart Masters of the Universe for that snake guy. Um, Mattel, 1985, Hawaii. Proton Pack, Proton Stream. Laugh Gas? I don't know what that goes to, but that could be for Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtle, do not shoot at people or animals. I'm guessing that's, that's cupcakes or a pizza. Um, we have Krang. 
the little guy that goes inside the big robot, Android body, Krang, and the Technodrome, super cool. What else we got here? Who is this guy? Are you a ghost? Do you flip open? 1988 Columbia Pictures. It says eek on the back. What What do you do? Do you, you open? You open because your crotch has a little hinge on there. What do you do, man? Open the heck up, bro. I don't know what he does. Do I pull on his head? Do I flip his hat out? What do I... I'm going to end up ruining him. Do I flip your crotch out? What you, what's going on, man? Anyways, I don't know. This is probably like a big um, Ghostbusters thing. I don't know. Um, we have, wow, we have Donatello. Oh, that goes to him maybe, his, his little waistband. Donatello looking pretty fly, pretty punk. He's got like ripped jeans, leather jacket, has a mohawk. That nice Donatello figure, digging that. Oh, we have another Zedmore. Look at his head spins around, fright features. Oh. One of my favorite, one of my favorite figures right here. The wind up Leonardo that has the fist that spins around. I love this figure as a kid. Absolutely love this figure. Look at the biceps on this guy. Pretty awesome. Another, another ghost, uh, Ghostbusters thing. I got to figure out what all this stuff goes to. Another laughing gas. Itchy powder. What? Does this go to, I hope, is this the thing? Is this that vehicle? It's got wheels on it. I don't, is it a parasail? It's something's broken off of here. Oh my gosh. It's a 917 Porsche, Porsche 917 Transformer. Amazing. Amazing. That just, that's, that just, I love Porsches. I used to have this Toxic Crusader. This is a, I think it's a Calabunga kind of like, um, it's a surfboard for Ninja Turtles. What the freaking heck? This is that suction cup guy with the mouth. What in the world? What? Does he stick to stuff? No way. Does he stick to stuff? Suction cup guy. What? Oh my gosh. Does it? Oh my gosh. He does stick to stuff. He pushes his back and he suction cups to the... Wait. I don't know if it works anymore. I have to clean him up. Amazing. That's one of the biggest Master of the Universe figures I've ever seen. I forgot his name. I knew it recently. Another pizza. Ninja Turtle Shooter. Um, who is this guy? Who are you, bro? He's got a sp well, spiderweb cape. He's missing a leg. He's made by Remco Toys 1984. Don't know who he is. He's probably rare. I don't know. This looks like another. Is this Columbia Pictures? It's got to be Warner Bros. Inc. His pants fall down and his bobble, his head bobbles and he's got like, what the frick? He's got hands handcuffed to his jacket. Don't know what this is, but maybe it's like, is this another, this is, this could be another, uh, police academy thing. One of the guys gets pants or something. He gets pants. Wonder, but that's gotta be, it's gotta be like a pants. Uh, it's gotta be police academy. Another pizza for the Ninja Turtle shooter. Another surfboard says Calabunga on it. Awesome. We're kind of getting into some, um, accessories. Amazing. Wow. Another Masters Universe figure I don't have. Remco, 1982 Remco. This looks like it's Masters Universe. Um, we can always, maybe it's Thunder, I don't know, I think it's Thundercats. Who's this guy? This is another lobster guy. That's cool. He's like that other figure that, that had that, that gap in the back. I don't know. Another, look at this. Uh, I'm just blowing, this is my mind, my mind blown right now. Another ghost figure by Columbia Pictures. He's like a brain with like six legs. Insect, um, this Slaughter's Marauders. That's a G.I. Joe thing. Sergeant Slaughter. This is some sort of, what the freaking heck? What the heck? It's a pig with a... It's got butt cheek... Th it's a pig thing. It's got a snout on it. And it goes into the pig. I don't know what those pigs are. Please let me know down in the comments below. I'm stunned by all this stuff. If you guys can let me know, this is probably like Donatello's staff or bow and arrow. Um, we have helmets and stuff for... Masters. There's another April Neo with her shirt looking a little low. We have a bunch of accessories. Here's a kid, dragon cane. Here's some sort of Power Ranger or uh, Transformer thing. Another Transformer. There's a little jet. We have, uh, this guy's a rat missing his arm. Probably Ninja Turtles. Amazing. I remember having this crossbow when I was a kid. Um, wow. Who are you and where is your face? Bro, what are you, dude? 1985, there's a dead spider under this lizard's tail. It looks like his head pops out. He's got a serpent on his neck. Oh, man. Is this Fisto's hand? We're finding body parts, everybody. What? Lobster? 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 I don't know. Lobster? What's his name? Um, 
freaking awesome. I don't have any of these figures, these Masters of the Universe figures. Another one of those uh, Raphael where the shell opens in the back. You could stick his little size of throwing stars or something. Okay, there's a big shoe. There's a glider. Oh, that looks like a G.I. Joe or a Hobgoblin glider. Masters of the Universe uh, belt. Another pizza for the pizza shooter. Another pizza. Another pizza. Wow, what is this? Baseball card. I don't care about that. Um, wow, another freight figure. This is like a pilot. How do you do this? How do you do this? Is his legs? His face goes up. And this is Columbia Pictures. These are like all Ghostbusters like villains or something. Another Raft figure. Vintage figure. This, is, this isn't this is even it. I mean, you got to see. What is this? This is going to be one of those villains vehicles or something. It looks like it's getting Ninja Turtles. It's got shells on it. It's got to be like a Mikey cycle or something. This is this is crazy. Look at these vehicles. What is this? What are you? It's got a little cursor on there with a, like a buzz saw. Let's see, maybe, oh, it clips into the back of somebody, and it's got a buzz saw on there. What the frick? Amazing, amazing. These are all the little doodads that go with the figures. Here's what looks like a Masters of the Universe rocket pack or a stand. Um, we have a wolf guy again. Another wolf guy, soft head from him from Masters of the Universe. Looks like a ghost figure. Is this a ghost top? This is Ghostbusters top because this looks like Slimer or something. And these like spin out. They're like ghost tops. I swear I had these. They're like little ghost tops. Uh, another skateboard. It's got a fly on there. That's probably that fly guy um, that we looked at. Here's a He-Man. Holy cow. It's a cap gun. It's a cap gun. He's got, look at that. He's got caps on the back. He's a cap figure. That's cool. That's That's got to be rare. Yeah, I think when you turn him, he snaps or he like punches or something. Um, another, there's a Donatello. Oh, we have Janice from the real Ghostbusters, the cartoon. Her hair flips up somehow. I don't know how you do it, but is her hair goes up. We have this frog guy. Don't remember his name. I know I had him as a kid. Um, I haven't watched those shows in a while. We have some sort of other ghost squishy toy, probably Ghostbusters. We have another pig contraption that it's a pig thing. Um... Uh, this is another, this is like, rock. oh, it says raccoon on there. I don't know if that's, I hope that's not, is that, there's Donatello's shell. We don't have to go through all this. There's another figure. There's a trash can guy. He looks like he's got a, he turns into like an alien that glows in the dark. He's another uh, Ghostbusters. We have another Ghostbusters monster. We have another Ghostbusters. This is uh, Egon Spengler. His eyes come out and his hair goes up. These look like, this, that's the part of that Transformer we saw earlier. This is going to be a long video. I apologize, but look at this. I mean, it would take me forever. We were talking about all the parts and pieces missing from all the figures. And when you open up this box, look at this. We have a golf ball. We have Michelangelo's head. We have... Kitty, kitty! There's got to be a deer or something back there. I probably scared the crap out of him. Some sort of pack. We have a search team. What is this? What are you? What? A search team? There's a... Is this McDonald's? McDonald's. It's a little magnifying glass. Another one of those little puppet things that gets shot out of that guy's face. We have... Oh, this is... um, This is... Uh, is this Bebop's hand? We have a bunch of faces. There's another ghost figure. Oh, cool. Decepticon. Uh, old Transformer Decepticon. Um, there's Michelangelo missing the head. Rockets. Here's another Master of the Universe belt. Looks like we have a Master of the Universe guy missing his legs. Another ghost top. Raisinets. Um, this looks like... Oh, Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice! That's cool. I wonder if one of these figures is Beetlejuice. This is a, a sewer cover. Another um, Transformer piece. Another Egon Spengler. What does he do? Does he have a question? He's got a question. He's like, I have an idea. Egon Spengler. Uh, Evil Inn. Evelyn, Evelyn, another pizza. I used to have these little cheap uh, airplanes as a kid. Another ghost squirter, Raphael shell. I mean, all of this stuff. Look at Ninja Turtle mace, Ninja Turtle spear. Blown away, absolutely blown away. Here's somebody's tail. I'm hoping we can find people's like fists and stuff. Here's another. Oh, does Krang go in here? Does Krang go in here? I don't know, but I'm, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. McDonald's, but -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Um, another proton pack, proton stream. We have uh, Raphael's bo there's boomerangs and size and machine uh, blasters and stuff. Uh, amazing. Sewer gas. This is somebody's shield. I thank you all again for taking on a trip uh, with uh, to memory lane with me. Um, I'm sorry this video was so long. I'm super enthused and impressed. And I love this. I mean, there's probably more. I don't know 
where or if there's any more action figures in there. I literally only looked through a couple boxes when I was putting stuff into the U-Haul trailer. So thank you all again for tuning in. My name's Aaron. Sorry to end this, this video so abruptly, but I feel like this video is long enough. I just found this guy's tail, actually. Where was that guy's tail? Oh, it's right here. I just found this guy's tail. Um, super cool. So, I mean, I can part and piece these things back together. Um, here's somebody's back of a G.I. Joe. A lot of parts are probably missing, but you know what? They exist. Here's Shredder's arm. So, I love this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit that subscribe button. Help out my channel. Leave me a positive comment. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell for more alerts from my channel. I'm trying to upload more frequently. I have so much stuff. I just want to get it out there and express my love for this stuff and the nostalgia and just my memories of missing this stuff and just getting to be able to hold something like that again um, and play with it and open it up and like find the pieces that go to the missing thing and just complete it. Um, I'm not a completionist by any means, but I mean, if I can find this guy and find his surfboard and find his weapon, super cool to display, to sell, to, you know, to, to play with, whatever. It's just amazing that this stuff exists and that, you know, 30 years down the road, this stuff is still really good quality and still exists. So thank you again for tuning in. Um, huge shout out to my lovely girlfriend and our family and a uh, big shout out to my dad and my mom for helping me learn the value of treasure and nostalgia and memories. And I thank you all again, and I hope to spread and build a positive community here. And thank you all again for watching. My name's Aaron. Stay tuned. Be good to one another, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Goodbye and good night. Thank